Hello, hi everyone. This is Shreeja. Welcome to Skin Oriel, where I talk all things skincare. So, if you like skincare-related content, then make sure that you're subscribed. Likewise, you can also follow me on Instagram, where I post more regularly. In today's video, I'll be taking you through my current body care routine, and uh, I feel uh, you know body care is something that we often neglect. But let me be very honest with you all. I am very good at taking care of my body, and uh, you know. For me, it's not like it's just all about facial skincare and I'm ignoring my body altogether. No, I don't do that. I probably I properly exfoliate, cleanse, moisturize my body, and I also use SPF on my body when I'm going out. Like I don't use it when I'm indoors, uh, except on my hands and stuff. But uh, of course, if I'm going out, there will be SPF all over my body. So yeah, I am very proud of taking care of my body, and today I'm going to share my current body skincare routine with you all. This routine is more suitable for summers. Um, for winters, like I have a separate body care routine, but because it's summer, so I'm going to take you through my body skincare routine. And um, starting with the first category of my body care routine, and that is exfoliation. Now it is very important that just like how you don't, you know, you should not exfoliate your facial, like over exfoliate your facial skin. Uh, similarly you should not over exfoliate your body skin as well like i personally stick to exfoliating my body skin say about two to three times max but that's about it and it also depends upon the kind of exfoliator i'm using or like um, you know the kind of products that i'm using to be honest and how i'm feeling uh, so starting with the first product in my list and that is plums vanilla vibe range body scrub it's the sugar scrub it has sugar it has coconut butter it has shea butter so you know when you sort of apply it the granules melt onto the skin it's not at all harsh it smells heavenly i absolutely love the product it gently exfoliates your body skin without stripping it off so now dude i don't have that product with me so i'm i have tried my best to show the texture of as many products as i can but i don't have all the products with me so for like for the products that i don't have I'll be sort of linking an online reference or like a texture shot that will sort of help you make like the right choice. And this product is also very affordable. Uh, you know, once you sort of wash it off, the skin feels very nourished, very moisturized. Unlike um, horrible, you know, apricot scrubs that I have used in the past, this is like a very good affordable option. The second product in my list is Dove's um, Rice Body Scrub. It has lauric acid, it has rice bran extracts, it has rice bran oil. Oil. and again when you sort of apply it it won't melt because the, there are no sugar particles but the granules are very small uh, make sure that you're using all the body for like the scrub on damp skin like i see people using body scrubs on dry skin don't do that it can unnecessarily be abrasive just put water on your skin and then sort of uh, massage it into your skin in gentle circular motions that's how i actually personally use all my body scrubs this one again has a heavenly fragrance and you know once you sort of um, even come out of the shower the fragrance is long lasting so it's going to last so i really like this particular product from dove and it's like very affordable again the third product is uh, from the luxury category it's uh, from Aminu and it's their dead sea salt scrub it has dead sea salt it has lavender oil which has skin soothing properties australian tea tree oil which has antifungal properties and rosehip oil which is a great antioxidant this is like a really um, good scrub when your skin needs like a little pick me up or when you want to like sort of you know enjoy a long shower after like a really long working day really good product you actually feel that you're in spa it smells heavenly again it leaves your skin feeling nourished it won't strip off your skin and if you want to invest in like a really good body scrub uh, this is a very good option now moving on to the second category and that is body cleansers so for body cleansers i personally love uh, something that uh, you know has like a refreshing scent to it during summers like during winters i prefer something warm something with vanilla but during summers i love using products with like a fresh like you know very fresh and refreshing fragrance so all these products would sort of have that kind of scent to it it's not fragrance free so if you cannot tolerate you know fragrance and body care then i don't think there are only one or two products that would sort of work for you so the first product in my body care category is from Neutrogena. It's their uh, rain bath uh, 
collection wherein sort of um, there's like a very mild but refreshing scent to the products again it's like a very gentle cleanser it lathers really well but it won't strip off your skin the second product is the nivea's water lily cleanser all of these products are like really affordable it will like no bs cleanser which will just you know cleanse your skin properly without stripping off your skin the third product that i want to talk about like i also like uh, if you like have slightly dry skin then aminu's um, creamy cleanser is a really good option again this one is not like a, you know it's not a cheap product so when i say cheap i'm not referring to the quality sorry i think that was like a wrong choice of uh, words here uh, like it's not a very affordable product and um, i feel um, you know if you want to sort of invest in a luxury skincare brand i think this is like a really good product creamy cleanser is i think especially very good for you if you are someone who's very prone to itchiness ir and you know irritated body skin so definitely and do understand that you know our body skin is naturally dry because of the lack of sebaceous glands so that's why you know you will not break out like that's why when if you have acne issues it's most mostly your facial skin of course you also can get back acne and chest acne but you're not it's very random that you start breaking out here i'm not referring to ingrowns like that's a separate thing but in general like the general acne so it's important that you sort of not strip your body skin and sort of maintain that balance so yeah all these cleansers they have like a refreshing afterwards scent to it and um, i really like it i sort of really enjoy using this product so yeah that is all that i have in the cleanser category now moving on to my next category and that is body moisturizer lotion like butters i don't like to use butters and oils uh, during summers i stick to like body yogurts or body lotions moisturizers like whatever you call it so the first product that i want to talk about today it's like very similar to similar to pons gel moisturizer that you have for face the same product for like body and it's by dove it's their gel cooling cream so when you sort of apply it there's like an instant cooling sensation the texture is really lightweight and i really enjoy using it vaseline also has like a very similar product both of them are really good like you can just pick whatever is more affordable because i feel uh, performance wise they are both pretty similar and uh, apart from this i also love using good old vaseline body lotion the aloe variant i think when i was growing up vaseline on ever like that was the only option we had dove if you can afford it or you know if you are feeling like extra bougie or whatever but uh, yeah so this vaseline aloe vera lotion is like really lightweight i love the fragrance and i sort of keep going back to it i really like this product i think this sort of reminds me of my childhood and maybe that's why like there's no other like particular reason like of course now you know there's so many body lotions in the market but i just keep going back to this one another product that i want to talk about today is the uh, is by plum it's their hawaiian rumba body yogurt i really like it it's so lightweight it has aloe uh it's it also has cocoa butter so it sort of hydrates your skin without stripping it off now don't get scared by when i say it has cocoa butter the texture is like almost like water against the fragrance is amazing but be careful if you're someone who cannot tolerate like fragrance in skincare then this might be too much for you and i don't recommend getting it if you don't like fragrance but apart from that i really enjoy using this body care uh, body care moisturizer as well like body yogurt and apart from cleansing exfoliating and moisturizing i do like to use an spf on my body so for spf i really enjoy using fixderma sunscreen spray it's like really light on your skin really easy to blend i hate thick body low, you know sunscreens which sort of leave like a white cast so fixderma is like a very decent option i feel in the indian market and outside i really like eustrin or um, I also love uh, La Roche Posay melt melt in milk so they're like thick lotion with some bottle lock technology so when you sort of apply it it just like vanishes but yeah when you sort of take it out it is thick but like I still they're like very good options but not easily available in India so in India I feel fixed on my your best bet Now apart from all these essentials I also want to talk about one particular product and that's from Bond. I really like their hand cream. It's this ceramide hand cream. It's a fragrance free product. It's like a no BS hand cream. The reason I really like it is that it's really non sticky. Like I hate it when the hand cream sort of, you know, makes my fingers sticky and they're like fingerprints all over. Like I absolutely hate that feeling. With this cream I don't get it and I use it every night and I really like it. I have been really enjoying it. I think I've purchased multiple tubes. And yeah. So I think that is all I have for you all for you guys today. If you enjoy watching my channel then do consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye.